Smart Meter is used as a secure national communication network called the DCC to automatically and wirelessly send your energy usage to your supplier. This is an efficient method for your bill to come out exact, but not to be estimated. However, smart meters emit waves of RF radiation that many have found to be detrimental to your health. So before we make our Faraday smart meter cover, I just want to give you a, an idea of what we're actually creating. So this is a finished product here. And it's just a dual layered Faraday cover that'll fit for your meter. You just take your hose clamp, slide it right on, there's nothing to it. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a razor blade, and some Titan RF Faraday fabric. And we'll also need a hose clamp that'll fit your meter. Now, the hose clamp you choose, you'll wanna make sure you don't get one that's too big or too small because you'll wanna be able to adjust it once you have it on the meter. All right, so once we have our Faraday fabric out on the table, you wanna cut it to approximately 12 inches by 24 inches. All right, so now that we have our fabric cut, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just fold it in half. Super simple, nothing to it. Gotta make a crease as well, just make it a little easier on ourselves. Now we wanna take our scissors, and just cut the corners off a little bit. And there we have it, a dual layered, Faraday fabric shield that you can use on your meter. Let's head over to the meter and see how it fits. Okay, so now that we're at our smart meter, I'm gonna show you how to cover properly. Again, the reason why we're doing this is we wanna protect ourselves from harmful RFs that the meter emits. So the first thing you wanna do is take your Faraday fabric and line it up with the center of the meter. Okay, and once you have it centered, Go ahead and take your hose clamp that we looked at earlier and just slide it over the fabric. Now remember when you do this, you want the fabric to fully enclose the meter. So there shouldn't be any gaps. These gaps are just opportunities for RS to leak out. So go ahead and push it down. And you wanna go all the way down to the back. And once we have that all the way back, we just wanna take our screwdriver and tighten down our hose clamp. Now when you're tightening the hose clamp, you want to remember to not make it too tight because we don't want to break the enclosure. All right, so let's make it a little bit snug so it doesn't go anywhere. And that's it. All right, guys, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, comment with your questions below. See you in the next video.